And as soon as they come home, they go immediately get out of their clothes. And Countless parents all over like Tequila Wallace are taking measures to keep their families and themselves healthy and keep COVID-19 out of the home. The task of keeping coronavirus away during this pandemic is one of the challenges families today face as they work to balance school life with home life. We have to make sure that they are prepared, you know, be, without bringing any germs home. So it's, it's been a bit challenging. This Wallace's three children take part in in-person learning in Duval County Schools in Jacksonville, Florida. Wallace says their lack of concentration was the deciding factor when she agreed to send them back into the classroom. With the online, the students didn't, I feel like it wasn't, they weren't gaining what they needed to know and the teachers wasn't like they would be in person because they're lacking in certain areas because it's all new to everybody. Wallace says she knows she's taking a risk by sending her kids back into the classroom, but she says between the internet connectivity issues and trying to work, it was just too difficult to teach her children simultaneously. I feel like, like I'm, I'm a teacher. I didn't go to school to be a teacher. <laughs> so it's not, I don't, I, I hated it. Tanya Winston of Detroit, Michigan is also being extra careful to protect her family from the coronavirus. My oldest son, he has lupus. So I felt like I'd rather just keep all of them at home since he's already at risk. Winston has her four children learning remotely. The retiree wants to do what she can to keep the entire family healthy. If they go to school, you know, uh, the other three, they're going to bring it back inside my home, and I'd rather just them stay home, too. She says it's also been a challenge to keep them focused at home, so she had to get a bit creative to do it. First, it was we didn't have a desk because they were sitting on a couch and things like that. I refaced old desk. I went out to the thrift stores and found desks for these kids. She also expanded her wireless internet to help with connectivity issues that they often face in the beginning. And even though she's retired and has more time to commit to her kids schooling, she's still concerned about how this will impact them socially. My oldest, I had that problem with he's a teenager, he's in high school. And he was like, I just want to see my friends. And I'm like, yo, you have lupus, you know what I'm saying? And you have an autoimmune disease. Your friends are dangerous to you, you know, like you can't be around everybody. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, COVID-19 cases are on the rise all over the U.S. with more than 12 million cases. In Michigan, the number exceeds 300,000 cases. In Florida, over 900,000 cases. Winston is working hard to keep her family members and herself from being added to those counts. It's dangerous out here. Like, just because you think they don't have it, it's not under control. In Jacksonville, Brittany Verner with Atlanta Black Star.